1983 has been quite the journey and I was totally captured by the beautiful words and character development that Taylor has created. If you look at the costumes, we made them all. Every dress, every jacket, everything was custom made by Janie and her team. My most important goal is to be authentic to these amazing characters. I am very familiar with this period. 1883 is kind of in those years of the Victorian era. The level of authenticity that's brought to it from a costumes perspective is through the roof. It feels so good to get to put this on every day. My initial approach in costume designing for all of the characters really starts with the script. It is information that I get that really helps me visually, and then I'll start doing research. All of the pictures that she'd put together to really try and study culture, because again, you don't just have American cowboys, you have Czechoslovakians, and you have Romanians, and you have Russians, and you have Germans, and she really did her research to piece together everything to be custom made, so it was really quite impressive. One thing that Taylor and I talked a lot about was let's have these wild characters and in interesting colors because red really does tip off that there will be blood, there will be death. Things are stirring up, let's just say that. When Taylor and I were first talking, one of the colors that he was really passionate about for Elsa was blue. She just looks like hope and sincerity, and that's what I needed from this character. The story begins with Elsa in this nice, pretty blue dress that's quaint and restrictive, and that's kind of where she is in her life at that time, restricted from everything. The Polonaise was very popular during this time of 1883. A lot of what influenced the Victorian era was 1700s fashion. She also has her traveling bonnet. Taylor really wanted her to look at her most put together point is when we meet her. She really has this incredible journey of her becoming a woman. We see so many changes in her costume design. She's really the character that we see change the most. She's never worn pants in her life and she suddenly gets to ride a horse not in a skirt, which is very different experiences. For James Dutton, he was a farmer in Tennessee, and so it was really important to make sure that aspect of his character is in his costume design. Getting in the costume certainly helps with being in that space. So I like to get on set early and just really walk around and sort of just put yourself in that world. People in that period really did not travel with that many clothes. They didn't have that many clothes. So, you know, his costume design is very consistent throughout the show. It's really about those minimal pieces. It's so important to be able to develop a character through costume. I was fascinated by the costumes that we're wearing, and it tells such a good story of my character. She's really bringing this world to life. And she put this coat on me the first time I squealed. Janie Bryan and her whole team knocks it out of the park. We're like a well-oiled machine, I have to say. I feel so lucky that the team that I brought with me from Los Angeles and also my team from Texas, we've just really gelled together so well. It's been so nice. 1883, new episodes now streaming exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. Brought to you by ZipRecruiter. Go to ZipRecruiter.com and put ZipRecruiter to work for you.